Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm so glad to have you guys here. So today we're going to make some really cute Easter garland and this is the supplies you're going to need. I'm also going to put them in the description below. So you're going to need some orange construction paper and you're just going to draw some straight lines. You need about four or five. It just depends on how long you want them to be and these are actually going to be our carrots. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these strips and we're going to first fold it in half to create a V. Then at the top, you're going to fold about an inch and a half down to create two sides. And then we're going to fold these in. These are going to be the top of our carrot. So now about a half an inch down, you're just going to fold it backwards just a little bit. And this is just where we're going to attach the glue. So we're going to take a little dot of hot glue and we're going to stick these together and that will be our little carrot for the garland that we're making. So now we're going to take the little, uh, we're going to make a little green stem here. So we're taking some green twine and a little teeny tiny rubber band. I am actually using little clear plastic um, hair bands that I use for my kids hair. So you just roll these around your, the twine around your fingers a few times and then cut that off and then you're going to bind the bottom of the twine with the rubber band. You can use a regular rubber band. I just chose these ones because they're clear. So now that you have bound your um, twine together, you're just going to cut the top to make the little top greenery for the carrot. So then I stick this in between the um, orange paper that I had just made the carrot out of earlier and I actually just use a stapler to staple it together. I initially was going to hot glue these together but then I thought how am I going to get the greenery in the middle so I chose to use the stapler instead. So now that I've made all of my carrots I'm going to take my little canvas bunny sacks that I purchased from Dollar Tree and this nautical um, rope that I also purchased from Dollar Tree and then these little safety pins and I'm just going to pin this to the rope because I wanted to reuse these sacks for something else um, down the road. I thought you know I could use these again if I decide not to put the garland up next year and you know these might not be available at Dollar Tree again so I wanted to go ahead and save the bags so what I did is I just took the um, safety pin and I just put it through the back of the bag and then through the ribbon to hold it together and attach it to the rope so then I just alternate between rabbit and carrot and I actually did glue the carrots to the rope with the hot glue gun so you just alternate this you know on every other side so you're just going to do bunny carrot bunny carrot and stick it all together to make your garland I actually have this hanging on my fireplace and it looks really cute all put together so now what I wanted to do is I wanted to make the bunny ear stick out so I kind of took these little rubber bands that were clear and I also just put one on each side just to make it have more of like the little ears appearance and I really like the way it looked like this and here it is hung up I just hung it here so you guys could see what it looks like and the lighting was good to take the pictures I hope you guys like this craft it's super easy to do and doesn't take long if you guys haven't already please subscribe and don't forget to hit that like and share button and as always thank you so much for watching